Hello everybody, this is Taka, and in this video I'll be showing you how to create your very own local Minecraft server with MyMC Admin and Essentials. So, getting right into it, you're going to want to download everything. I'm not going to go through that, but there will be links in the description. So, uh, you're going to want to create a folder on your desktop, call it server, or whatever you feel is necessary. And then you're going to want to get the MyMC Admin that you downloaded and you are going to want to move all of the files from MyMC Admin into that folder. Once you've done that, then you're going to want to go into Minecraft in the folder that you've dragged all the MC Admin stuff into, and go to Plugins. And now with the Essentials plugins, you're going to want to move all of the stuff from the main Essentials, which is Essentials Jar, Chat, Protect, and Spawn. So move all those in there. And then you're going to want to get to the Essentials Group Manager and move those two in there. And then when that is done, you can then run your MyMC Admin uh, program. So it's going to download the latest Minecraft and do a couple other things to get it set up. Um, so it's going to start up right here. So I'm going to resize this window real fast. Alright, so we're going to click continue and set up our server. I'm going to call this test server just because uh, I'm not going to have it listed because it is a test um, and I'll have everything to yes. Now you can start from template if you would like to. So here's all your templates that you can choose from. I think you can download more but I am not sure. So I'm going to use the forest template and open up this and it's going to connect download my template and do a couple other things I think it's going to restart around three times but while it does that actually no I'll just wait for this um, I'm going to show you some things first if you go to the chat tab that is where you can see all your players chatting the players will be listed here and you can do basic stuff like that so servers almost about done it's done so we're gonna to want to go to server stats and then stop the server when your server is fully stopped which you can see in here or you just see by chat saying stopping the server you can then go to about updates and you're going to want to click update slash install bucket and what this does obviously is it's going to get you the latest version of a bucket which is what you're going to want to need and when this is done using bucket is going to go from no to yes which is what we want so I'm going to pause the video until that finishes alright it is just about done as you can see right here now it says using bucket yes which is exactly what you wanted so in server stats you can then start your server and it should um, have all the plugins connect successfully so it's going to prepare the spawn it's going to prepare the other spawn and as you can see all of the group managers and essentials configured well not configured installed correctly what you can also see that in the chat right here so we're gonna stop our server again and we are going to tap that out move this out of the way and then go into our Minecraft, go into plugins, and then go into essentials. Here is where you then can configure your essentials plugin. So just open up the config. You're going to need Notepad. I'll have a link in the description for that. And you can then just configure this how you feel is necessary. Um, I'll have a later video on going through the entire config. So subscribe for that if you want that. Um, so just go through that, configure everything how you want to, just make sure you don't do any spelling mistakes or anything like that. Now what you also can do is go to Group Manager and go into Worlds, World, uh, Groups, and then here you can do all of the groups, well all of the your permissions and stuff. I'll have a link with information on that and a link to the bucket permissions so you can individualize your groups and stuff like that. 
one thing I want to say, just make sure you do not mess up your inheritance. Make sure that everything is inherited correctly. So you can close that after you're done and then run your server. So you can just click start server. Now one thing I'm going to say, if you're going to want to get people to connect to it via your IP address, you're going to need to port forward. So an example of port forwarding is you're going to need to connect to your router. Mine is a Quest router. I'm going to go to advanced setup. I'm going to scroll down and go to um, wherever it is. I'm probably looking right at it. Port forwarding I was. And you're going to want to have your starting port as 25565. And the same thing, 25565. You're going to want to do this for both TCP and UDP. And you're going to want to set this as your local IP address. And to find your local IP address, you're going to want to open up your command prompt. Like so. Type IP config. If I can spell things correctly. Config. Just like that. Scroll up and then the IP address you're going to want to use for your LAN IP address is the thing that says IP version 4 address and that's your LAN IP address. So you're going to want to use that. Now this is probably going to be different for you because you probably don't have the same exact, same exact router I have. So I'll have a link for you in the description so you can do that. Now I'm going to test this out. I'm going to connect to my server real quick. So I'm going to open up Minecraft, have my server run. So it's the server is running and I will show you that the chat thing works. So I'm going to move this over and log in. Maybe move it up a little bit like this and move this down so you can see everything. So I'm going to go to multiplayer. I'm going to direct connect to local host. Oh, oh, I wasn't even typing. Now I feel stupid. Local host and then join the server. And then as you can see in here it says hi there Brain Hopkins welcome to test server and that's what it put right here. And it did some other things to create the group manager files and all that stuff for me. So this stuff works fine so if I just type some random bullcrap hit enter it shows up in here, which is all super cool. I can also, well, as an admin, you can also use this to kick and ban people. So if I were to click my name, I can whisper something to me. So I can say, um, just Z. And then the server whispers Z to me. I can also kick myself. So you kick yourself by clicking and kick, and then I am kicked. So um, that's the basic stuff on that. Uh, just some more stuff in my MC admin before I end this video. Uh, you can go into preferences and change most of your server config via that. So you can go into player notices, game settings, which is like the con the server dot properties, uh, bucket plugins, scam plugins, and then you can see all your plugins. Click it for a description on your plugin. Enable or disable them here. Um, user groups that's just I'm not gonna get into that it's too much to worry about or that if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the description below I'm not the description in the comments below uh, I hope I helped you in some sort of way I hope you have a good day I hope you subscribe and goodbye